there's few things more important than the drinking water that you need every day to live and to have a healthy community and a vibrant community. People should be aware of where their drinking water comes from, what it takes to get that water safely to their home. In Washington, we do get so much rain. There's the, there's the, the expectation that we have, um, you know, an abundance of water. And in reality, to ensure that it's clean and it's safe is, is a process. I'm working with the Washington State Department of Health to develop um, a series of workshops to train drinking water systems on source water protection strategies. At Department of Health, we were seeing more and more incidents of the surface water plants having to shut down due to perhaps a road failure or landslide in the watershed. So we wanted to better understand what was going on in the watersheds and what tools would be available to help the water systems manage watershed activities. Source water protection works because there's a large body of evidence to suggest that maintaining healthy forests promotes good water quality. The easiest way to have good quality water to ensure high quality of water is to protect that water from the very beginning. And that's what we're doing here with our watershed. Over 75 years ago, the city purchase the land and protect this land solely for drinking water supply. So in Bremerton, we're pretty much drinking the rainwater, it falls in our watershed, it's filtered naturally by the forest, and the water quality is so exceptional that we are one of the few surface water treatment systems in the country that is allowed to remain unfiltered, mainly because of this amazing watershed and its protected status. Bremerton and, and, and Seattle are very unique because they own their entire watershed. Um, this is important because they can control what happens in their watershed and have full and complete control over access to their watershed as well as how the watershed is managed. This is a lot more difficult in other areas of the state where large parts of land are owned by private landowners and timber companies and smaller water systems might not have the resources available to purchase that land and to restrict access and use on that land. The strategies we're discussing in this workshop, in particular collaborative management, provide extra layers of protection to drinking water. This is an example of how a broad public health issue, like providing clean drinking water, involves multiple parties, and by combining their efforts can really ensure the public health of the community.